So there are Coloradans who are going to spend this frigid cold night in their cars because that's where they live for the time being. Some of them are saving up money to afford the deposit of first month's rent on a new place. And there are Coloradans who are helping to make that temporary situation safer and easier. It's why your Word of Thanks microgiving campaign this week supports Hope of Longmont. It's a nonprofit that operates a shelter for people experiencing homelessness and also offers a safe parking program. The Safe Lot Safe Parking Program is preferred by some people who can't bring their pets into shelters, just aren't comfortable there, worried about being in that environment. Hope of Longmont says they found the vast majority of people who end up on the streets in Longmont, homeless there, are able to be helped into housing. And sometimes it even happens pretty quickly. I really appreciate the thought and care that Hope has put into this Safe Lot Parking Program. The folks in charge tell me they often see people who have had to leave housing in order to avoid having an eviction on their record. And they just need to save like a couple weeks pay so they can get a new place. So that's why Hope provides a safe, secure place for people to sleep in their cars overnight, along with hot showers and warm meals at that site. And knowing that a lot of those folks have pets that they don't want to leave in their cold cars when they go to work in the morning, Hope is even arranged for doggy daycare so that people can go to work and earn a living without worrying about their pets. And all the while, Hope's caseworkers are there to help connect them with services and housing. This is not a solution to all the problems, but it, it's smart stuff. Scan the QR code on your screen or text the word thanks and I'll send you the link to donate. We know that even $5 helps when we do it together. So as always, I'll match the first 50 donations of $5 that come in. Hope has a strategy to help Coloradans who find themselves living in their cars to get through that time quickly and safely while they work, save some money, get back into housing. And together, we can help that nonprofit expand its work.